Encapsula Nanosciences presents Cladrosome Cladronate Encapsulated Liposomes Encapsula Nanosciences is the only commercial manufacturer and distributor of Cladrosome. This video will acquaint you with the basics of using Cladrosome to deplete macrophage populations in animal models. Cladrosome is provided as a suspension in phosphate buffered saline at pH 7.4 and packaged in a sterile glass vial. Cladrosome is micron-sized multilamellar liposomes which encapsulate the drug cladronate into their interior aqueous space. The liposome component of cladrosome consists of L-alpha-phosphatidylcholine and contains about 23 mole percent cholesterol which enhances the liposome's stability in serum. Cladrosome contains about two molecules of cladronate for each three molecules of lipid in the liposome. This high level of encapsulation ensures that each liposome delivers a toxic dose of cladronate to the cells targeted for destruction. Cladrosome should be gently shaken until a uniform suspension is achieved and removed from the vial with a sterile syringe and needle. While room temperature cladrosome may be best tolerated by animals, the vial should be returned to the refrigerator as soon as possible. After injection, when cladrosome comes into contact with the macrophage, the macrophage immediately recognizes cladrosome as foreign particles and proceeds with destroying the particles invading the body of the animal. The macrophage engulfs cladrosome so that it is completely internalized into the macrophage inside an internal vesicle known as a phagosome. Lysosomes, which contain many types of destructive enzymes, fuse with the phagosome, resulting in a phagolysosome. The lysosomal membrane also contains proton pumps, which will lower the internal pH of the phagolysosome. The low pH and the phospholipases both contribute to destroying the liposomal membrane, resulting in the release of the encapsulated cladronate. The low internal pH of the phagolysosome may contribute to the ability of the cladronate to cross the phagolysosomal membrane into the macrophage's cytosol. Once in the cytosolic space, cladronate is mistakenly recognized as cellular pyrophosphate and is used by ATP-producing enzyme systems to synthesize a non-hydrolyzable ATP analog which cannot be metabolized by the cell. The toxic ATP analog binds to the cytosolic portion of the mitochondrial ATP ADP translocase, thus inhibiting this enzyme and resulting in a pore opening in the mitochondrial inner membrane. Loss of mitochondrial inner membrane integrity in turn results in the release of molecular signals from the mitochondrion which initiate cell death. Cell rounding precedes cell death via apoptosis. Cladrosome injected via the lateral tail vein selectively targets and kills the cells of the reticuloendothelial system which consists primarily of macrophages located in the spleen, liver, and phagocytic cells in the blood, such as monocytes. Cladrosome injected into the peritoneal cavity targets and kills peritoneal macrophages and migrates through the lymphatic system to the lymph nodes. When dosed directly into the lungs, cladrosome targets and kills alveolar macrophages. This dosing method should ensure maximum distribution of the cladrosome to the entire lung. Cladrosome injected under the skin near lymph nodes solicits and destroys macrophages from peripheral lymph nodes as shown in this example. Cladrosome injected into inflamed joints selectively destroys the macrophages responsible for propagating the inflammatory response in these joints. In order to achieve destruction of the desired phagocytic cells, or macrophages in vivo, cladrosome should be dosed by the route most directly accessible by the macrophage population of interest. Being able to selectively deplete various macrophage populations in vivo has assisted researchers in both elucidating the biological mechanisms for many diseases as well as inspiring potential treatments for these diseases. For more information about cladrosome, go to www.encapsula.com.